Welcome to the best FPL team you can currently make without any players from the top six teams. Now you might be wondering why I'm even doing this video because why would anyone have a team with no top six players? But the reason is simply so you can see how much money you can actually save from the other team's players. And even use this as a way to base your team and then try and fit the top top players like the Salas and Sterlings in, which you can do really easily. So the best team with no top six players is Boom. Now, when I say best, I don't necessarily mean the best players in the team. I've simply just gone for the most expensive. Now, this is 343, as it was the most priciest, but I'll cycle through the most expensive in other formations so you can see while I talk about it. Very surprisingly, if you have the most expensive non top six team players, it is impossible to go over budget with a decent bench. And it's even possible to have a very stacked bench with a few alterations. If you have this team with the cheapest bench players in a 3-4-3 formation, you'll still have 5.5 million left in the bank. That's another player. And 3-4-3 is actually the most expensive formation for this kind of team. If you have one of the other formations, you'll have more. So again, you might think this is a stupid idea, but let's go through the team. Let's talk about the players and where you could upgrade easily and still be in budget. Uh, Fabianski isn't actually the most expensive non-top six goalkeeper, but I couldn't have Pickford as I already got three Everton players, but you could literally have this team with Ederson and Allison rotating in goals. Now that's not bad. Luca Dean is probably going to be in most people's teams anyway, but I personally wouldn't put Doherty or Pereira in for their prices. But guess what? You could put Robertson and Trent in this team and still have 3.5 million left to upgrade. Now this midfield is pretty damn good already, but I probably wouldn't go for Sigurdsson and Richarlison. So that means if you upgrade either of them to Salah or Sterling, you'll still have at least a mil left. Jimenez and Wilson are actually the most chosen forwards in the game right now, so I think that says enough for them. But you could upgrade to Vardy to any other forward like Kane or Aubameyang. So there we have it. This is currently the most expensive slash best non-top six team player squad. I would definitely suggest using this as a base to fill out your players and upgrading in certain areas. And you'll be surprised how stacked you can get your team without having to have really cheap dead players in your squad. So I hope I may have helped you change your team a little bit for the better. And thanks for watching. And remember, don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs>